Hello everyone. Hello Elaine. Um, I like to show you the process of carving this uh, name seal. The name we need to translate is Elaine Brown, and uh, uh, she preferred to do it in phonetic uh, phonetic uh, translation, uh, meaning by the sound pronunciation of the name instead of uh, uh, authentic Chinese name uh, with meaning and possibly a little bit uh, hint of a uh, sound. Um, so in this case, you, I just put in Google Translator, it comes with uh, Yi Lian, beautiful name, meaning uh, lotus. Um, this is uh, her lotus, Bulang, uh, Bulang, Yi Lian Bulang. So that's the phonetic translation. Uh, it happened to be four characters. If your name is very long, um, it, is, uh, it is impossible to carve on the small seal. So you, you either have to cut it short um, using initials or you know, uh, using a big stone. If you are interested in carving the seal yourself this way, uh, have it translated and then uh, have computed to the design. By the way, I uh, made this uh, design by hand, not by uh, font. I still have to use hand uh, with mouse on the computer. So uh, you can uh, also ask me to do it if you want. Uh, I now offer design owning service. For those who want to see the design, uh, before carving, I can also do this, so you um, you can preview the design, uh, then commit to carve it either by me or by yourself. Uh, the process of transfer this uh, design onto the stone is like this: you need to sand the stone with a sand paper to remove the wax, and then uh, you wrap a coupon with the design on the stone carefully to place it okay this copy must be xerox copy with the tonal printer or, or copier not the inkjet it won't work with inkjet then I use this liquid called the acetone. It's a nail polish remover, pure acetone. Just pour a little bit on the back of the paper. It will penetrate through and evaporate in about 10 seconds. So you need to press it before it dries and lift it when it's still a little bit damp. So you get a copy onto the stone, as if you have made a print on the stone. It will not be erased, uh, so it's very uh, sturdy, stable. So you can, you can use your thumb to dust it during the carving, so it's very convenient. Okay. Next we're going to do the carving. Now I fixed the uh, seal stone onto this uh, uh, this uh, new tool I got from China. It's uh, made of brass, it's very heavy, and uh, it has a comes with a wheel, so you can kind of uh, rotate it very easily uh, in any directions. So um, it's also uh, to protect the uh, sculpture on the the uh, end of the, on the top of this uh, stone. So um, it's a must if you carve something like, like, uh, uh, like this stone, it has sculpture on the other end, so you cannot hold on the table stability. Okay, now uh, I will do the carving. I'll start with this first character, E. It's very convenient to see. I constantly turn it 
to get to the right angle. In seal engraving art, we simulate the effect of uh, calligraphy. So not only you carve the strokes, but also indicate uh, the ink, you know, sometimes with a little smearing effect on the corner or at the end, uh, very natural. So don't just do it uh, mechanically. Think about the effect of uh, calligraphy on rice paper. Ink uh, effect. That's very helpful to create the artistic uh, quality seal, not just uh, mechanic computer uh, font. You know. So the, the line is not exactly the same. You have to go with the calligraphy. The pressing lifting effect of the stroke indicates the uh, vitality of the qi movement of the vitality uh, breath. Just like calligraphy or painting. Each stroke has uh, its own qi or vitality. When qi is broken, it's dead. When it's uh, continued, uh, it's living, alive. It, is, it has a life of its own. Each stroke. Is, uh, I'll do the fine tuning later, so just get the main uh, strokes done and then we'll do very fine detail work to polish and the fine tuning. So let me do the second character now. We don't have to go with the order of the read. It reads from top down from um, right to left on the final print. So you can do it uh, when you carve, you can do it without any restriction. But uh, keep the whole character in mind when you do it. So just like uh, you're writing with the knife. When you carve, you notice one side of the cutting is the smoother, which is the outside uh, of the 
knife, when you hold at an uh, angle, the, the, this side is smooth. That's why you need to turn the stone to make sure the, the smooth side against the stroke. In this case, unless you want a very rough edge. And then continue with the major strokes down there on the little ones. The last character, Lodis. Okay, it's very intricate.
Okay, now it's time to do uh, pixel by pixel fine tuning. So I'm going to turn off the camera and we'll come back after this step. Okay, now I, I'm done with the uh, fine tuning. Let me take uh, this off and dust it. Now, let's take a look at this uh, first imprint. This is the computer design and this is the real seal. It's not, it's not exactly square, so let me take this uh, margin off a little bit. So um, let me take a make a imprint in my connection album. You can get this book from our store. Uh, we have uh, ones for sketching, also the one without the square. You can do anything to write poem or sketching with it. my official imprint. Okay, and I'll make an imprint for Elaine so as a custom copy. you don't want to press too hard you will make the stroke thicker if you want to keep the line thin you just press enough evenly to make it uh, nice okay finally I'd like to thank Elian for your commissioning of doing this uh, seal and uh, she's also learning my Chinese painting class and uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, seal to use it on your practice and see you in the class thank everybody on YouTube for watching if you need a name seal uh, from me please contact me at blueheronarts.com you'll find the link under this video goodbye Thank you.